Street Fighter Cross Tekken. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right, Chris just sat down and we immediately hit the start button, so we don't get to talk at all about this. Man disappeared, but we're getting uh, PK Chris versus Special on Battlefield start. Ready, set, go. Right in. We're really it. trying to explode right now on this Battlefield start as well. Yeah, no, this <laughs> is a very fast and loose kind of set. Uh, speaking of which, immediately Chris just first, taking that first stock. First 10 seconds, my man <laughs> said, this is my 2 well. I got to get it done now. I have uh, the rest of the bracket to play. Yeah, I got places to be, people to see. <laughs> Things to do, money to collect, and specials <laughs> in the way. Let's see how much of a, in the way special can create, though. I mean, he's pushed Chris from one ledge to the other, and yeah, getting the damage. Doing a really good job of just tagging him with damage in the sky. Mind you, Zero Suit's got great buttons for that. Woo! Down tilt into grab. Oh, and I like the landing with the down air. You can feign the hitbox, but auto cancel it. Chris has always been really good with that. But on plots on battlefields, it's especially good. Ooh. Ooh. Bear almost got hit by the flash there. Just timed the tech correctly. Special. Got to be careful about moving Ooh. around in the air. Chris, Chris, Chris knew that he was going to land there, but Chris just didn't decide to press a button there. Put up high. Ooh, parry. But doesn't parry the second hit. Special able to take control of that situation. <laughs> going slightly high. And oh, my goodness. That was... Special is not happy with that one. Yeah, no. That was just really good decision making from Chris. Saw that he had an opportunity to go aggro, took it, and got a stock for it. All right, trying to push forward again, but Special, once again, boxing him out in the air just fine. You just got to find that hit that actually makes the stock happen. Yeah, just struggling, though. Like, Chris doing a fantastic job of just keeping him out. And then once Chris gets the hit, just getting so much damage off of it. Oh, he's... Like this? <laughs> all right, all right, kid, I see you. Great combo. Zero to 100 real quick. And gets the throw. Puts oh a little bow goodness. on that what game was that? one. Was two interactions with that last stock? Yeah, and the one, with one of those is going on Twitter. Chris is really out here right now. Oh. You know, not only did it look cute, but I think it was a great decision because throughout that game, because Chris is staying aggressive with his movement, he's always auto-canceling down air. You never expect it to actually be a move. And then he hits you with it, and yeah. apparently he's got... Cute little combos yeah, out of it. got a footstool out of it and uh, some PK fire. Oh, there's a down tilt into PK fire. There's a lot happening. We're going to town and city, though, for this game, too. Yeah, and it looks like a little bit of a character swap. Chris really feeling himself Ooh. after that game one. Decides to take out the bird for a spin. And you know what they say about birds and words. They are, in fact, the word. That's true. Let's see if this bird's got it, though. I hate myself. This is... Hey, listen, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> Every once in a while, you got to commentate for yourself. <laughs> You're in the audience, too. You're along for the ride. <laughs> from right now. So special. special. <laughs> yeah, apparently. He's got to take a ride with this one. 52% off of just stray hits from Chris. Yeah, but Visceral keeping up with the damage-wise here in the early game. So this has just been doing a good job of being able to maneuver around, and I like that. It's just that Ooh. where he's lacking here isn't just getting the hits. It's getting the combo starters. Like, Chris has been doing a great job of being, like, DIing hits so that he's just, if he's forced to recover, it's whatever. He, like, he's taking the damage, but he's not losing the stocks. Ooh, the reverse up tilt doesn't get the back air off of it. Ooh. Yo, I went special on that one. You saw the way this man reeled back in his chair because he got popped with, like, the very edge of the third hit of up smash. <laughs> Looks like he got hit by, like, the big toe on Falco's <laughs> foot that goes up in the air, not even the wing. Yeah, no, Clown Shoes came for his life, but he's got a kill of his own. We see a 2-2 two -two count on the stocks. Yeah, completely even right now. Looking to be a big change from that game number one for special, which is very good for him. Yeah, no, he's got to make uh, Chris pay the price if he's going to be picking into secondaries here. Because matchup wise, special was playing out game one just fine. He just needed to actually get the kill out of his damage. <laughs> that jab clanked with up tilt when Falco was facing the other way. Yeah, no, that was just weird. Falco is a weird character. Doesn't seem like they work properly until they do. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> like. His character just looks silky smooth, and then, like, you look under the hood, and it's just rubber bands and dreams hold this character together. Oh, is this Aeon? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real miracle when, you know, the likes of Kofi and Tilde are able to make this character do, when you consider it just, like, the, the most random of hits just don't work for you sometimes. And Zero Suit's kind of got that problem, too, where, like, stray hits are nice and all, but if you don't actually get your kill, what's it Ooh. matter? And Fast fell a little too far. Yeah, doesn't got the hops to come back from a mistake like that. And because of that, Special's going to take that free stock to the bank. Ooh, able to get out of that situation. Gets the second hit into the up smash. Just going to rack on some more damage. I like that. The, the lightest of mix. Just enough to grind the ice. <laughs> Ooh, no jump, though. Able to get back, though, because 
Where's the SS? We don't have to care. Yeah, flip kick is good as gold, but you can't be rolling from the ledge when Falco's waiting right there and then. Things are pretty even right now, but Visceral, uh, not Visceral, <laughs> Special getting the damage. My brain is on I do that today. too when I look at their tags. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's a they, they both sound like the same towards the end. Yeah, no, there, there's, there's got to be a word for that. English has got a lot of words for Rhyming. that. Rhyming. You know that one counts too. <laughs> Not what I was thinking, but you got it. You got it, Inverse. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, taking us back to the, the action. And Special's been doing a really good job now of just hitting on shield. Taking full advantage of the fact that you could follow up Nair or short in Zare with Jeb. Make the action almost entirely safe. Falco doesn't have a button to punish something like that, so Chris has got to hold all that pressure. At the ledge. Ooh. Able to snap through. Ooh. A bit risky of a call with reflecting the bolt, but... And that landing, too, with the flip kicks! Ooh. Especially just straight up living on the edge for the stock. Yeah, he's Ooh, on the gets the spike, but... Chris able to get the up air out of it. At the ledge. All right, how's Chris going to get out of this situation? Going to block the whip? Is Chris going to get out of this situation? Special is not letting go of this pressure. In spite of not really finding a hit that matters. I like how side B clanks. Very cool. <laughs> Very normal interaction for these two characters. Ooh, Chris gets the hit. Forces uh, special to the ledge now. Comes down with the fair. Ooh, the, the, the tether, tether cancel, cancel too? into the... <gasps> All right. You're witnessed. I love it. We're going to game three. Yeah. Chris is laughing. Yeah, you lost here. game two when you left. No, honestly, I'd be with it too. You saw the tether cancel into hitting with just the edge of uh, side B. That way, it doesn't end up like there's an opportunity for you to SDI out of side B, and also you can get sent upwards if you're too high in it. And even though Zero Suit does have kills out of that, you just want to kill at that kind of a percentage. You don't want to futz around too much. Chris immediately taking us to Smashville and the return of the nest from game one. Yeah, he doesn't want to get too cocky with it. Nest looked really good. Falco needs a bit of sharpening up, but not a bad pick. But Special's not going to let him have it, no. Special immediately putting Chris here at the ledge. Ooh, very good weight. This is going to lead to some up airs, getting the damage, and keeping Chris here at the ledge, but Chris able to get out of it. Never mind, I lied. No, Special is not letting go. I think that's just a really good mark of how he's playing comfortably. Like, staying at pace with such, like, a high APM player like Chris <laughs> is... It's not a feat that you see from many players, like even on the higher end of the scale when it comes to Long Island's talent. So, special putting stuff on the board that most others can't say they do. Especially given how well Chris has been playing as of late. So. Yeah. All of a sudden, this turned into a pretty hot set. Yeah, definitely looking a lot different from the game one, two with the Ness, so. Ooh, we dive Ooh. deep. For oh, we it, get the tech, though. We've got those. We got the, we got the techs that make us live. Oh, that was Q2. All right. B reverse the side B. Try to keep that pressure on. But right now, it's one of those situations where it's like Chris could hit you with a button, combo you, and you die. Or he could grab you. Rock, paper, scissors looking like a loaded game. Just trying to play the distance, I think, is a really good call. Because Zero Suit has it behind her whip and the long legs. Yeah. Forward tilt there. A perfect example. And that's being a literal cartoon. Has very stubby legs. But that Nair, going to get the reverse hit of it. Sending special directly into the blast zone. Like his his limbs might be nubbies, but they're long where it matters. Ooh. Ooh. Chris is deep. Yeah, not gonna be able to come back from that, unfortunately. Too aggro for it. But given the percentages, that wasn't that bad of a situation for him. Ooh, coming down with the down air. Got a weird hit of it, so Chris just fell out of it. Ended up healing all that damage off from the bolt, but otherwise, solid start to the second stocks from special once again. There into jab. It's a very safe idea. If I remember correctly, it leaves you like minus two, which again, most characters in the cast can't actually punish that. And even if you can, like you're spaced in a way that you don't have like a real punish most of the time, unless you're like maybe Martha Lucina. But that's like, a, I'm putting a big question mark on that one. Regardless, Special's got his spacing down on Ooh. it and he's rewarded for his efforts because he's just keeping this pressure on nonstop against Chris. Ooh, Chris able to roll through the down smash. Now puts special at the ledge. No jabs Ooh. of his own. Gets the grab towards the ledge. Yeah, on a smaller stage, that's going to kill. 
And now Chris sitting with a decently healthy lead. Yeah, having, and gets the drag down as well on top of that. Having stage advantage in game three just goes so heavily into your favor. And because of that, Nassau and Smashville is terrifying. Even though Smashville's been holding his own quite nice, like it can't be understated that like Chris is never short of kill options at medium to high percentages. It's Nest. Go this. Like it, it, it's just like that sometimes. Chris just sharking the platform right now with these up airs. Not allowing Special to get down to the main plot. At the ledge. Ooh, gonna read the flip kick on stage. It catches oh. Special with the forward smash. A great call from Chris. Ends the set 2-1.